Oh man, I hate moving items in and out of storage units. It takes so much time. Do you recognize this problem? Well, don't worry. From now on, you can move thousands of items in seconds, inspect all your storage units at once and way, way more. You just need this CSGO inventory tool to help you. In this video, I explain everything you need to know to use this epic CSGO inventory tool so you can spend your time playing good <coughs> matchmaking games instead of furiously clicking items in your inventory. The tool is called Case Move, and it has been out for a bit, but I wanted to wait on making a tutorial to make sure it was safe. Now that it has been playtested by a bunch of people, including me, and now that it has been increased in features a lot, I will give you guys a full tutorial on everything you can do with Case Move. First of all, we need to download it. The link to the GitHub is in the description, or you can just Google download case move and it will most likely come up as the first result. Once you're here, you're gonna need to scroll down a bit where you can find the download link. You can choose what platform you're using. For example, I am in Windows, but if you're on Mac or any other OS, it's fine. You can just choose the correct link and then press the download link to download it. After it has downloaded, you can click on the setup in your downloads and on Windows Windows you get this pop-up. This app is safe, but Windows can't check it because it doesn't know what the app is or what it does. That's why you have to press on more info and then press on run anyway. Once it has downloaded itself, you should be met with this screen or if you don't have it open yet, you can search for the app and open it there as well. Here you just need to log in with your Steam information like your username and your password and also your authentication code if you have two-factor authentication set up, which in an ideal situation you should have that. I would recommend clicking remember for later so you don't have to log in every time, at least if you trust the device you are using. Now before we get into the app and all of its useful features, there are some things that I have to tell you guys about this because there's a lot of misconceptions and also a lot of questions people have about this. First of all, you can't be VAC banned by this app. The app does not interact with the CSGO game client. It doesn't do anything to your existing game files, meaning VAC can't detect anything that's happening to the game. It simply generates its own connection to CSGO that emulates a CSGO client that could edit the inventory, but it doesn't actually do anything with your CSGO game. You theoretically don't even need to have CSGO installed to use this app. It works on its own. So you don't need to be scared about losing your items while using this app. I have used it for months now and I have a very expensive inventory and a lot of people who are big in the scene have used this app and it doesn't affect anything. Second thing, it's made by Numbers and his team is also in the description. Thanks to him we have this amazing app so I have to thank him here. You can read more information about all of this on the GitHub so check that out if you are interested. When you log in you are first met with the overview screen where you can see your total inventory value as you have selected and also what is in your storage units. On the right is a pie chart of the items you have and what category they are in. This is good to check if you are an investor so you don't have an unbalanced inventory. To include the stuff in your storage units you can press load storage units and that will load all items in all of your storage units one by one which will also update the numbers and the pie chart. You can also move items very easily in the app. Let's check out that now. In the transfer from tab you can see all your storage units and under that all the items in the storage units you have selected. The load Load storage units button we pressed before loaded all of your storage units so you should see all your storage unit items there. You can sort them by price, amount or basically anything you could imagine. You can also just select one or just a couple of storage units to see just their contents and to filter them or just to see their total value here if you just select a couple of them at the top. If you want to move something here out of a storage unit into your inventory you can either type an amount in the move box or or you can press the lightning bolt to move the entire stack. To move the items that you have selected, you simply press the move button at the top of the list and it will start to move your items automatically. It is faster than the regular moving that we had in CSGO already, but it isn't as fast as I promised you in the intro. That is because you have to enable that in the settings separately, which I will show you now. To go to the settings, you press your profile name and then you select settings. The first setting is the one we are looking for since it is the one that allows you to move items very quickly 
in and out of storage units. If you don't want to risk anything with your big inventory, you don't have to enable this. It will still be easier to move items just less fast without this setting enabled. I have used it set to on for a couple of months now and I have not seen any issues with Steam or anything, but it is your own decision. The second thing is not important for us unless you want to get dev features, but I just have it off. The column setting is actually very useful since it allows you to select what information you do want to see and what information you don't want to see and what you want to ignore. Lastly, the pricing tab is quite important as well since it allows you to choose what prices you want to use. You can use Steam price, but that is not that accurate. If you want the most accurate pricing, make sure to choose Buff163 since that is the closest to cash price that you can get. Your currency is up to you, but I have euros. The transfer to tab is the opposite to the transfer from tab, it just allows you to transfer items from your inventory back into a storage unit. Here the storage unit you select is the one you are moving items into and in the transfer tab it was where the items were moving out of. There is also an inventory tab where you can see your entire inventory which is quite nice because it also allows you to just sort your items on a lot of different things. It also shows your inventory's total value but you can also find that in the overview tab. The final tab is a trade-up tab where you could do trade-ups in a faster way than in Steam, for example if you do a lot of trade-ups for profit. Do watch out here however, since these trade-ups are not a simulation, you are actually using your items up in the trade-up, so don't try to do it with your nice AK on accident. It is a really nice feature since it shows you outcomes with floats and much more, you can just try out trade-ups without actually doing them here as well. You can sort for floats, collections or just the tier of the item. You can also hide your equipment whipped items here so you don't accidentally do the wrong item. Furthermore, on the bottom of the list you can sort for types of items in any of the above tabs which were seen previously, which is useful if you just want to move some cases but they are scattered throughout the results. On the overview screen you can also download a list of the items in your inventory, but I'm not sure it's very useful for reading for humans, but it might be good for some reason, I don't know what it's useful for. Now I want to know how much time you can save using this app. So I I moved 100 cases with all the variants in game and in the application and here is the results. First off we have in game as a base moving 100 cases out of storage. All of this footage is sped up to 200% so it's twice as fast as normal and this is still taking a while to complete. Steam's way of dealing with these items is very useless and old fashioned and I hope they somehow make it better, maybe in the Source 2 update? Who knows? Well anyway, that was moving 100 items out of storage in CSGO. It took 1 minute and 32 seconds, but even without the selecting time it was still slower than the base time for case move. I also did moving items back into a storage unit, but you get the gist, it takes a long ass time. The time for that was 1 minute 44 seconds, which is even longer, which is just insane. Now we move on to the actually interesting results in case move. The first one is moving items without fast move enabled and it did this quite fast in only 34.08 seconds. Moving them back in took roughly the same amount, 34.27 seconds. And now for the final clip, this has fast move enabled so hold on to your horses. Remember that this clip is also played back at the same speed of 200% to make sure that you see the difference between them, so keep that in mind. Are you ready? Here we go. 3, 2, 1, go! Wait, what? Okay, no. Yes, that's actually true. Case move can move 100 items out of a storage unit with fast move in just 3.2 seconds in normal time. Moving the items back took a bit longer, 7.2 seconds, but that is mainly due to the fact that the menu hangs at the end, which I counted for consistency. So, to clarify, case move can make you up to 3290% faster when moving items in CSGO. That is insane, more than 30 times faster. And remember, I clicked quite fast to get the CSGO time down. Imagine what the percentage would be if I just clicked at an average speed. So in short, get case move. At least do it if you regularly move items in and out of storage units. This will give you hours of your life back. The video isn't sponsored by case move or anything, I just genuinely think this is an amazing tool that more people should make use of. That is basically all there is to it, it's a great and very useful tool, big thanks to Numbers for giving us this godsend. If you have any further questions you can always ask them in the comments, I read and react to every comment I get. Now you know how to use the case move extension, but what will you fill those sweet sweet storage units with? Maybe we'll fill it with the next rare case, but we don't know what that case will be yet. 
Except I do, and I can tell you which case it is, but that will be in this video. If you have some old items that you don't really like anymore, you can trade them for better ones with me. I accept all items, and my fee starts as low as 2.5%. I have a ton of nice skins, cases, agents, and much more, so check it out in the description. If you're still watching, you are truly awesome. Thank you, goodbye.